Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and make them electric. All right, let's get into it. This week, we have some big updates. So you can see I've got the driver's side battery box nearly done. It's ready to start being bolted together for fine, for good. So uh, inside, we have the battery cells dropped in there. They barely fit. There's just a little bit of gap around the whole way. Just how you want it. The BMS is going to slot down in there. Uh, I've got some holes for pass-throughs. We have the contactor box here bolted up. Um, we've got the main plug on the front. We've got the hole here for the BMS wiring that we'll have to put through. So all in all, that's coming together really well. Um, and then I tried to use a little brush uh brushed aluminum look on there i think it looks pretty good so the other box um i haven't done the brushing yet but you can see we got steam sealer in there and we got all the rib nuts installed all the way around so i'll be doing the same thing to that one that will have the two boxes and then i'm going to need to run all the conduit between the two boxes and the bms wires and all that and um, just do all the final nuts and bolts before installing them into the back of the truck um, that's the last biggest step there's still a lot of small things but these batteries are part of the like main power of the truck so you can see there's the other pack um, on the front end we got the uh, panel cut out we're gonna have the charge port here behind here and then this is gonna somehow hinge up and open and we'll have maybe a magnet or something to hold that shut and we are going to have the chatamo connector over on this side so level two here and the chatamo fast charger over here so that's going to be sweet uh looking forward to finishing that out and then we have this nissan logo from the leaf that we're going to place there and this one actually lights up let me show you how that works all right so check that out the nissan logo lights up And Dave thinks that's cool. So we're going to wire that into the truck when we're done. Um, like I said, he's been working on the bumper, just about done getting the cutouts in that. Um, and then I got the charger finish welded here. So it's super strong now. It's not going to uh, wiggle or move. And we got the final welding done and some paint on there. So all in all, super big progress here. Oh, one last thing. On the inside, we started adding sound deadening because one big thing with homemade evs uh conversions is that you get a lot of noises that you didn't notice before when the car was gas but then suddenly when you have an electric motor it's really quiet and you start to hear all the rattles and some road noise and other noises that you wouldn't normally hear in the car so we put some dynamat here in the back and that'll just kind of take out a little bit of the echo um, then I had to do a little massaging of the floor and uh, um, so we I basically had to do some slices and hit it with the hammer and then weld in some new pieces of steel there so that I had a little bit more clearance around the battery boxes and then uh, so got those covered in dynamat I'm going to do some dynamat again on the front of the of the vehicle um, behind the dashboard just try to isolate as much of that all those noises a little rattles and and clanking noises from the suspension and things that you don't normally hear and they spend a lot of money on factory evs that uh, the designers the engineers spend a lot of money quieting them down because of all those things the aerodynamic noise is everything they just spend a ton of money doing all that sort of thing so anyway the battery boxes are coming together they're actually starting to look pretty good and this thing now weighs like 350 pounds or something. So uh, it's on the wheels for good. Um, I can always, of course, pull out the cells if I need to with the crane, but I'm hoping not to. So the plan is to get both boxes side by side. I'm gonna do some measuring, figure out how long to make the conduit and everything. And I'm gonna basically assemble the boxes underneath the truck. I'll have the truck up in the air on the lift, I'll remove the drive shaft and then I'm gonna lower the truck down over the batteries. And I may have a jack under the batteries, a transmission jack, so I can jack the batteries up and down and, and then we'll 
do the final install on the truck. So definitely stay tuned because it's getting real. We're getting really close to having a driving EV conversion here again at EV swap. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and let your friends know if you think they're going to like this channel. Thanks for watching.